Well, today is um, our open day. Uh, we've had an open day for, um, I think this will be the third one. Um, the first one we had uh, for the 125th um, anniversary in 2008. And St Mary's, um, well, the, it, it's rather austere from the outside, but it really is a gem inside. And a hidden gem, really. Um, particularly for this Easter Marsh of Grimsby. So we thought we really want to give it a bit more exposure and, and to let people of the area of North East Lincolnshire really see the beauty of this ancient building. Well, we've been very pleased with the numbers that have, uh, have come here today, even though the weather has been against us. Somebody reminded us that yesterday was St Swithin's Day, um, so perhaps we should have expected it. But uh, there's been a steady flow of people who have uh, come in and we're very pleased uh, as to how it's gone. Today's a, a day that we have about once every two years, basically to try and let people know about St Mary's, about the church, so that they come into the church and they can see what a beautiful building it is and have a bit of an idea of what we do and the, the kind of people that we are. Well, the theme that they have ch chosen this year has been the saints, who, particularly the saints who are portrayed in the stained glass windows. Uh, stained glass windows which are quite exceptional um, and people have looked at the history of particular saints and portrayed them in uh, little floral displays. I think that the day has been very, very well worthwhile. Um, I think when we came in yesterday morning, we wondered what we were going to put together because we're not professional flower arrangers by any manner of means. And it was really the local parishioners uh, putting their own hand on, 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 the, um, you know, on the floral decorations. And, and I think you know, those who have come today, um, certainly that those who I've spoken to have really appreciated the work that's been put in and, and, the, and especially to have the lovely sound of the organ and, and, and the organists from our area and I think one is coming from Sheffield you know and for them to give their talents to us it's made it really something very very special and hopefully something that we can repeat in the future. The main thing today has been uh, a series of organists who have played um, each hour and uh, the organ is again quite exceptional. Um, five years ago 30,000 pounds was spent on renovating it and it is a, an exceptionally nice uh, uh, pipe organ. Um, we nearly lost it uh, last year when it was really cold and we put the heating on constantly and it dried it out and we thought we'd wrecked it. But uh, it revived after putting buckets of water underneath it. It took about two months, but it came back to life again and it's, uh, it's sounding very good today. The vestments that are on display, they are quite old. Uh, they used to be used a lot before Vatican II in, in the 60s, when services used to be much more elaborate and ornate. Uh, since Vatican II, a lot of priests have had much more simple clothes to wear during services. Um, and these are some of the vestments that we've got left from the early days, which aren't used these days. But we keep them because they are beautiful. And we bring them out on special occasions like this so people can look at them. If there's anyone out there who would like to come and visit St Mary's, obviously we're open on Sundays for, for services. We are open during the week, uh, Fridays, Wednesdays. 
and uh, if anybody especially wants to come and can't come at those days, if they contacted the priest, I'm sure you know we'd be able to take them round and show them the church. Mm -hmm.